All right, guys, gonna make the world's best sandwich, starting with Dayboat Haddock, doing it out of Gulf of Maine. And uh, we got some great partners up there, always Fishery Direct at the markets. I've already ripped off one side, check it out. Glassy clear, that of course comes from cutting the gills. The heart on a fish is right about here. You cut and bleed that and notch the tail, see it's severed, and you bleed everything out. That's how you get a perfectly clear, glassy piece of fish. So I'm gonna rip off the second side and we're gonna make a fat daddy fish sandwich on a brioche bun. Gonna do it with extra crispy coating on the outside. We'll make sure the fish shines. You're gonna love it. Ground fish out of New England, usually bycatch, usually come off the scallop fleet. And this one is direct. They caught it on purpose. Usually jig caught for the good stuff. There's our second side. It's pretty fishy, super pretty fish. Let's skin it up, cut a portion. You can leave the skin on for sure. I just want that super clean crabby flavor and texture. I don't want to be distracted by anything else. All right, so there we go. We're going to butcher down the bone line. We'll plank it. So on one great fish sandwich, two portions like that. Make it nice and fat. Here's another one. Butcher this one down. We'll probably get three out of here. Makes me happy to be able to see the blue board underneath it. You don't get that from your trawl caught paddock. Go down the length. Another fish sandwich. Cut the bone line out of this side. Feather it off. Maybe two and a half fish sandwiches. Stick with us, we'll show you how to cook it. Tell All right guys, world's best fish sandwich. We just butchered down some haddock. And next up, we're gonna do the breading. This is Elizabeth, my bride's famous recipe. And it's really simple, okay? Got some hot oil. You can go peanut, you can go vegetable. Pick your preference. Uh, we do house of archery. You can use your favorite fish bread and do it the way you like it. We go exactly this much. Not too much. And then we're probably something like fitty fitty on cornstarch and that. Cornstarch gets you the extra crispy crisp. Yep. Hard burn. And then use your stirrer. You know what I should have thought about? I'm gonna need the um, the something to get it out of the hot grease. Unless yeah. I bred these two for protection. No, we're not going to do that. All right, then buttermilk. We carry a local buttermilk in the markets. Get you some buttermilk. Now, here's the secret. You want little crispies of buttermilk mixed in with your batter. So, you can go buttermilk, batter, buttermilk, batter. Or you can kind of a little bit of crispies in your batter. Dig it? So, we're going fish in. Not all of it. I can't do all of it. Oh, he's saving some. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I might want another sandwich. Okay. We'll go in with these. Give them the old bath. I don't want to let them soak too long because I want to taste haddock. Going in the batter. And then you got to really coat it. Let it set up a little bit. Even better if you got like 10 minutes to let it set up. Look at these. See the little crusties? making a biscuit that's what we're looking for and then if you catch Elizabeth doing this she'll actually push in the breading won't you absolutely a little bit more we want the crackly you let me run the line last time we featured this so I put out some decent fish right you did good. and then in the hot oil you ready? Yeah. There she goes.
Should I flip it? Are you going? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Perfectly crispy. Nice and warm. <laughs> Did it get you? <laughs> no. Did I slice you? So you want the largest device you can find to get it out of the oil? Clearly I won. So this is what the cornstarch does for you. I've stolen out of the air fryer a little rack here. And you know, you see people putting it on paper towels, but that makes it soggy. Yeah, the skin, the crispies tend to fall off. Yep. Look at that. And those were the little pieces of buttermilk and the um, and the cornstarch made little biscuits on it. Little biscuits. Little biscuits. That's my rap name. All right, let's build it. I figured out how to unlock the burner. Okay. Oh, Got it. All right, so we got a toasted brioche bun, which is soft, like lightly sweet, toasted in our scampi butter. We're gonna put on the bottom some lettuce, just for a little crunch, and then our crispy fish. And the nice thing about cooking at home is you don't have to be skimpy. I mean, you can you can wear skimpy stuff because you're at home, but you don't have to be skimpy on the food. Stack it up. Stack it. We make a remoulade, and you can pick that up here. Making it's pretty simple too. Remy on a bun. Big fat tomato. Right on top. Boom. World's best fish sandwich. Dayboat had it. Get down on it. Alright, you gotta get your you gotta get your stance. A little press at the last minute. Are you ready for it? Yes. Okay. Back in. Mm. Wow. So good. All right, guys. Mm. Follow us on YouTube, Twitter, right. Insta, and Facebook for more recipes and good times. Mm -hmm. And come see us. Three, mm -hmm. three markets. Mm -hmm.